Raise the Dead by Bathory. I've had a lot of requests for Bathory recently, so that's never a bad thing. So I'm just going to show you something. So I'm going to show you how to get the ringing sounds at the start of the song. So we're going to take the B string and we're going to lift it and we're going to put it over the top of the G string so that they are crossed. Here you can see. And then if you play both those strings, you get that ringing sound. So again, you just take the B string, you lift it, put it over the top of the G so that they cross. And you get that ringing sound. So now let's go through the main song. So the tuning of this song is slightly in between standard pitch and E flat. So I will just give you the tuning. So we're going to start the song with an open bottom string power chord and then we're going to play the third fret of the open string and pull it off. And then we're going to play a first fret power chord on the A. And that is the opening riff. Then we're going to play this. And at the end, we're going to come back down onto this third fret of the bottom string. Then we repeat the first part. But then we're going to play a power chord on the third fret of the A. And then this chord, which is two of the A and five of the D. Now I'm just playing it here using this middle finger middle finger for this power so I can make that transition but you can play it like that whichever way you find easier Okay so that is the opening riff then we have this riff So open bottom string, 7th fret power chord on the A, and then bow back onto the open bottom string. Then open bottom string quickly, and then 5, 7 on the A. So slowly that little bit. Then back onto open bottom string, 7th on the A. Open bottom string, power chord 3, on the A, open bottom string, power chord five on the A. So slowly then. Okay, then we're gonna repeat that. The only difference is instead of coming up to five as the last note in that riff, we're gonna come down to one of the A. So. Then we're just going to repeat both those sections. Then we're 
Then we're back into this section. And then we're into the solo. Now before I show you the solo, I'll just show you what's underneath it. So we've just got some power chords all on the bottom string. I'm going to play open to three and then one to four. Now it's hard to hear the rhythm. It could. But those are the chords. So again, open bottom string to three. I hope you're enjoying this lesson. If you are, make sure you check out my black metal guitar course. I will put a link in the description for you. So this is how I would play this solo. That's the first lick, you can play it here. Um, but I'll show you it here first. So we're on the G string and we're gonna play nine, seven, and then nine of the D, and then back to seven of the G. And we do that three times. Then back to nine of the D to seven of the G. And then we're going to bend from the ninth fret of the G up to 11. And then back down to 7. Now you can play it here. Which would be 5, 3, open on the B string. Back up to 3 and repeat that 3 times. Then open B to three of the B, and then bend the five of the B up to seven, and then back down to three. Then we got this lick. So just hammer and pulling off, and we're going to play 12 of the E down to 10, and this one stays here on 10 of the E. And we're going to play 12, 15, 14, 12. Then we've got this little bit. So we're on the 17th of the high E string. We're going to bend that up and then down. 15 on the high E. Bend up again on 15, uh, 17. 15, 14. Then pull off 15, 14. 17 of the B. 14, 15 of the high E, 14 of the E, and then 15 of the B. So slowly. And then we're going to come all the way up to the 22nd fret of the high E, and we're going to bend that up down and then down onto seven, uh, 19. And we can do that three times. Then 22 of the high E. Then we're gonna hammer and pull off uh, 19, 22, 19. 22 of the B and then 19 to 22 of the high E, and then bend it up. And then you just let it go into feedback, and that is the solo. Then we finish the song on the main two riffs, so we're gonna play the second riff first this time.
and then we're going to play the first riff. And that is where we end the song.